whether in the coastal plain, the Piedmont, or the mountains, streams can be protected by the presence of trees along their banks. Rain falling on trees is slowed as it drops on leaves. Tree roots filter polluted water before it enters streams. The leaves that fall to the ground also provide a layer of organic material that acts as a sponge to soak up and filter water. Leaves that fall into the water provide the basis for the food web in streams. These leaves are food for insects, which are in turn eaten by larger predators and fish. Fallen trees, limbs, and tree roots provide critical habitat in streams. This wood also breaks up fast flow to limit bank erosion. Forested areas next to streams also provide homes for many creatures that live both in water and on land. Many frogs, such as spring peepers, pickerel frogs, and toads rely on streams as places to lay their eggs and rear their young. Still other terrestrial animals rely on streams and streamside forests for food and places to live. Protecting streams with forested buffers will not solve all of the pollution problems that streams face, but it is a start. We can all make a difference for clean water and healthy aquatic resources by our everyday actions and by the way we treat and respect the landscape that drains into the streams of our backyards. If we learn from past mistakes that have cost us many of our valuable stream resources and that have impaired the streams which provide the lifeblood to the heart of the Chesapeake Bay, we can begin to protect our precious aquatic ecosystems for future generations to enjoy and improve them for ourselves. The system of streams that runs throughout Maryland is much more complex than can be realized with only a glance. By taking this brief look, we can begin to understand the delicacy of Maryland's flowing water ecosystems and can ensure their health for our use and for the sake of one of our most valuable aquatic resources, the Chesapeake Bay. For more information on how you can contribute to stream and bay restoration, you can contact one of the following organizations. For questions regarding the information in this program, contact the Department of Natural Resources Monitoring and Non-Title Assessment Division at 410-260-8610 or visit our website at www.dnr.state.md.gov.
U.S. We would like to thank the Chesapeake Bay Trust for their financial support of this documentary of Maryland Streams. The Chesapeake Bay Trust provides financial support grants to civic and community organizations, schools, and volunteer groups for Chesapeake Bay restoration and education projects in Maryland using donations to Maryland's tax checkoff line of the state income tax form, sales of the commemorative Treasure the Chesapeake license plate, private donations, memorial gifts, and support from the business community. For more information, contact the Chesapeake Bay Trust at 410-974-2941 or visit their website.